Well, welcome to Nadia's Meals in Minutes. It's no, first... I'm staying over here. Oh. I'll stay here. All right then. Don't show them how messy it is. Don't look at the washing up! Don't notice the washing up! <laughs> but to be fair, I have been recipe testing today. Have a little look at my cheesy onion scones there. Aren't they rather fabulous? Woo! Mmm. So, yesterday I you made the most gorgeous toasty apple pie in my little new toaster here. And today I woke up and I thought, I know what I'm going to make everybody. I'm going to make them a lasagna in a tasty toasty. As kids, we used to call this a tasty toasty. Did you? Yeah, just your sandwich maker. As kids? In there. You yeah, one as a kid? When we were kids, but it used to go right on the flame. Tasty toasty. We'd say oh. to mum, can we have a tasty toasty? I never knew anything so sophisticated. So, right. This is going to be very quick and easy. This isn't about gastronomy. This is about, wow, I wish I had some lasagna. How could I get some in like five minutes? I don't want to chop onions. I don't want to chop garlic. I don't want to cook on a long ragu sauce. I just want the hit of a lasagna without the time it takes, right? This is late night. This is maybe in the morning with a hangover kind of lasagna, okay? So I've got some olive oil and into it I'm going to put... This is actually really nice beef. I've got nice organic 100... I think it's about 120 grams or so. So we'll let that... I should have got the pan heated up first. And I just want to take you over here and tell you a bit about what I'm going to use. I'm going to use garlic granules because... What is it, Mark? Garlic. No, because this is a very quick lasagna where oh. we're not going to fart around, peeling things and chopping things. You've got to give me more when you ask a question. I can't I'm mean... going to use oregano it's a because... Hurt. It's just easy and you just chuck it in. I'm going to use something so sacrilegious, I can't believe I'm even holding it in my hand. Well, what is it? Onion granules! Because we don't want to chop onions, we just need lasagna really, really quickly. I'm going to use black pepper. I'm going to use tomato puree. And a little splash of wine and just some jarred bechamel sauce. Look away, people that are offended. What do you do if you haven't got that? So if you haven't got tomato puree, um, you could just put a little... You know what you could do? If you really didn't have any tomato puree or a fresh... You could just put in some ketchup. Ah, good idea. Ketchup instead of puree. Absolutely. A good squirt of ketchup will do it. That's good, because not a lot of people have puree or can afford puree. Exactly, but everyone's got ketchup. Okay, so we're just going to let that fry away. And I'm already going to add my um, puree. So it's about the same amount of puree or ketchup. Good squidge of fine tomato ketchup. It's something I quite often use in my sauces anyway, ketchup. A bit of extra jim jim. Okay. So it's a nice beef got a little fat in so it's juicy we're not cooking it slow it doesn't have to be cooked for hours I wish it wasn't so long <laughs> okay I'm even going to fry in my oregano because I think it gives another layer of flavour if you haven't got oregano put some mixed herbs or some thyme or some Whatever you want, or if you've got a bit of parsley, you could put parsley. If I had some parsley now, I would put it in. But you can just do the beef, the salt. Um, you know, just put anything of this that you have and it will still be fine. So some salt, some onion granules. If you would prefer to cook an onion in, of course that's going to be better if you're not in a desperate hurry for lasagna. Fry your onion till translucent. Some garlic powder. If you've got, if you would prefer real garlic, you obviously use the real garlic. It's going to be even better. But this is junk food. This is yummy, yummy, yummy. I love my tummy and it feels a hot Okay, my sandwich toast is on. I'm going to give a little splash of wine. Now, you don't have to add the wine. You could add a little splash of beef stock. 
you could add white wine, red wine, rosé wine, but don't add sheep wine that you've had sitting on the, on the, on the um, windowsill for ages because it will just taste like vinegar. So I'm just going to burn that off and I'm going to prepare my fake pasta. So some olive oil, if you haven't got olive oil, you can use any oil or you can use butter. Butter would be delicious because butter is always delicious. So I've got proper plasticky white bread. That's what we want. You could use wholemeal. <laughs> It'd probably be very sensible to use wholemeal. In fact, why don't you use wholemeal? That sounds like a really good idea. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Can you believe our sauce is almost ready? Okay. So you really want to make sure that bread is nicely soaked in the olive oil. Actually, I might take a bit off there. It's a little bit too oily, that one. So that we get that nice fried flavour. Okay. Right, turn it up the other way. Let's have a look at our... Mm, or some parsley in there would be really nice. Also, oh, it smells delicious. That beef has gone a bit caramelised now. Also, the other thing you can do, guys, is if you're wanting to go healthier, grate in some carrot, grate in some courgette. You could do all of this with as a vegetarian one with grated vegetables so that it's just quick and easy. Okay, so let's build our lasagna. goes in hot, so you're not having to worry about getting it heated through in the toaster. Okay, so I'm just going to spread that out a little. Mark, tell them how lovely it smells. Oh, fragrant. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay, so we've got our, our just our plastic bechamel. Oh, I'm gonna add some black pepper. You could add chili if you want. Let's take this over here. So our bechamel sauce. Oh my lord. I love that stuff. Don't me, eh? You can imagine coming in a bit from down the pub. Parmesan would be nice in this. Parmesan would be great because you'd get that strong cheesy flavour. I wish I had some parsley. I would literally do anything to put some... Oh, I have got some parsley! But now I can't go off to what go would get you, it. What would you actually do for parsley? Well, I'd just go in there and get some because I've oh. got some in the fridge but I can't be bothered. <laughs> There we go, baby. Okay, now in all our other Meals in Minutes, since the beginning of time of doing Meals in Minutes, we have never edited or stopped the filming or anything. We just go straight through because we want to I just want a bit more. Because we just want to um, show you everything in real time. But it's going to be really, really boring waiting for this to cook. So for the very first time ever, meals and minutes we are going to see you in a little while Ooh. is it stopped now yeah is it ready yet well, it's only been in two minutes yeah but it sounds ready listen listen Da da da. Should we have a look? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, it's oozing. It's bubbling. It's yummy. Look at the side of that. Oh. oh. Not ready yet. Come back in two minutes. Mm.
Oh, are you just a little bit excited about a lasagna in minutes? Ah, ah, ah. Look at that, baby. What do you think? Astonishing. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. oh, my Lord. Oh, it's so hot. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's so good. It's so good, Mark. Just got Right. Hang on. Now, how do we cut it? What do we do? How do we get the gorgeous? Because I shouldn't cut it there because it will still be sealed. We want to see all the gorgeousness, don't well, we? So I'd should cut I cut it. it that way? Oh, I don't know. So we can see inside because if I yeah. cut it this way, yeah, okay. what do you think, folks? The sound of the crunch. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, I've got to try it. Hang on. Oh, with that fried bread, look, and the sauce and the cheese. Hot. It's very hot. It's very nice. Mark, I'm frightened. Why? It's so good. Oh. The fried bread with the olive oil. That is so blooming dangerous, look. Mm. Hold it up so we can see inside it again. Mm. Look at that. That's the bechamel and the cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Guys, go make it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Mark, you have to try it. Oh my God.